Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert any physical PC with a copy of Windows on it into a virtual copy of that system. Now this is called Disk to VHD or P to V, physical to virtual. Now it's a really simple process guys, you just go over to their website, so it's a sysinternals disk to VHD, so disk to VHD, top result, you'll see it in the list there from TechNet. Go ahead, follow the link, download it from here, version 2.01. It's quite an old piece of software. Once it's downloaded, just run it, extract the file. So just extract it to somewhere you know. It's going to go to Downloads, Done. Let's go ahead and open our downloads. There it is. And then within that, we will then have the executable application. So if we double click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to launch the software that allows you to create a virtual image VHDX file or VHD file from your actual computer so the reason this would be important is if your machine is showing its age and you don't really want to reinstall the operating system but you might lose the applications or some of the data or you might not be confident enough to kind of do it yourself this is a much simpler and easier way that allows you to create an image effectively a snapshot using the Microsoft Writer shadow copy service uh, and then obviously you can import it into Hyper-V or VMware uh, Parallels uh, virtual box any virtualization software effectively so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you this now so if we just drop down this box here you'll see the volumes that you can snapshot effectively now I'm going to uncheck the actual volumes that store data and just back up windows which will be C and then the hidden volume partition for recovery system recovery and um, what you want to do before you do this is make sure that your writers are actually in a stable state okay so you right click on uh, command prompt run as administrator and we're going to go to VSS Admin and we do List Writers, okay? What this does is it checks the writers of the system. As long as they're all stable, you should be fine. It will create a snapshot fine and you'll be able to virtualize your operating systems. So this applies to any server, any client computer, anything you want to virtualize effectively from a physical machine. So as you can see there, you know, no error, no error, no error. Let's scroll up to the top here. No error, all the way up to the top. You can see there's no errors there at all, which is good. So that means that the snapshot service will run correctly when we try and actually create a snapshot with Disk to VHD. So let's go ahead and click Create. What that's going to do is save a VHDX file, which we can import into Hyper-V to the desktop. So let's go Create. What I'm going to do is let that run through. That will probably take half an hour to an hour, depending on how large your volume is. Um, I'm obviously on an SSD here, so if we right-click Task Manager, performance and then go down to disk 2 you'll see that it's on an 850 pro and this is a, a 500 meg read and write drive so it should be able to do some pretty good speeds and, and, and snapshot that volume pretty quickly for you. On the desktop you'll see that it's started to create that VHDX file which we can then import into Hyper-V afterwards. So what I'll do is I'll place a link in the description box below for this product, the Disk to VHD software. And just to clarify what this is doing right now, it's actually snapshotting and copying the volume um, of my actual physical computer here that I've got in, in the office. Uh, as you can see, it's a Windows 10 computer and all the applications, all of the data that's stored on this machine will then be copied to a VHDX file on the desktop. And from there we can then obviously back it up or run it in a Hyper-V environment or a virtualized environment. So the idea is you can keep the machine running without having to sacrifice the hardware. You can actually upgrade the hardware to any computer you like. So in this case, an i7, 16 gig of RAM and SSD. Obviously that's a, an upgrade from potentially what could be, I don't know, Pentium 4 in some cases, um, and 256 mega RAM. So that you get the idea and that's why you can do this and why it's great in business. The disk export to VHD completed successfully. So what we can do is now close this volume down and obviously you can see on the desktop here we have this Corsair volume. Now if we look at the size of this... Uh, it'll show that it's 85 gig. Now, what that means is that is everything contained um, within a file, a compressed file that you can import into a virtualization software. Uh, so it's a hyper into a hypervisor, effectively. Okay, so now we've done all that. We've got the VHDX file on the desktop. Let's go ahead and open Hyper-V Manager. Now, this is the same principle on a server operating system as it is to Windows 10 Pro. Go ahead and create your new virtual machine and then just go through it and call what you want. So I'm going to call it um, Windows 10 Pro 
um, P to V. Physical to virtual, okay? Let's have a little look. So in theory, that's what we're doing. Okay, generation one next. I'm gonna give it 496 gig of RAM. Dynamic memory's fine. Use the external switch next. And then finally, we're gonna use an existing virtual hard disk. Now let's browse to the one on the desktop. There it is, Corsair. Open that, click finish. And then the last thing we wanna do is just right click settings and give it all eight cores in this instance of the uh, i7 processor. Okay, so if we now go ahead and double click this to start this, we're gonna minimize the Hyper-V manager down, go ahead and click the start button. You'll see it booting into itself in this instance, but uh, in any other environment, this would be you physically creating a virtual machine out of a server that was maybe dying or dead on the hardware that it was running on, but now is running you know, perfectly. So as you can see, I log into it the same password, and then on the desktop, there we go. Exactly the same as the desktop in the background. You can see that there's the P to V folder, all of my icons, the software. This is an exact replication of the machine in the background here. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. You've gone ahead and created a virtual machine from a physical machine, and that's P to V, that is disk to VHD. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Check the link in the description box below. Check my Facebook page if you enjoyed the video as well. And as always, I'll see you next time for some more IT tutorials. See you later.